are at Cooper MMA. I'm Mark Gilson, this is Sean Cooper. And uh, I thought today I would like to talk about what judo is, what is judo? Um, you get some of the comments that I've gotten on some of these videos indicate to me some people really are uncertain or have, have uh, confused ideas of what constitutes judo. Um, a little bit of history, judo was founded by uh, Jigoro Kano, a Japanese gentleman. It was formalized in the year 1882 with the founding of a school he called Kodokan. Uh, it derives from jujitsu, which is the samurai uh, grappling art form. Um, and like traditional Japanese jujitsu, judo had originally had joint locks, chokes, uh, throws, obviously, uh, submissions. Uh, it also had striking, kicking, and resuscitation techniques. And these are rarely taught these days. When I was growing up doing judo, there was a certain amount of all of this, which was incorporated. And the uh, striking certainly still exists in judo katas, uh, the forms. Judo has seven traditional katas and several uh, more modern ones. Um, so, in 1964, judo became an Olympic sport and uh, was radically changed. So what judo is generally taught today is what can be considered Olympic judo. And that also morphs, so the rules of that have changed over the years uh, as the Olympic Committee has decided that they want to make it more exciting uh, or they want to stop giving advantages to wrestlers or people from other martial arts who have dominated. Uh, so you have rules which make no sense, such as you cannot uh, touch the leg below the belt when you're standing. Uh, this is totally contrary to, to the philosophy and idea of judo. Judo is supposed to be maximum efficiency. Uh, but when we teach judo, we have to observe these rules because many people want to compete and do it as a sport. So, there is, in judo uh, competition or sport judo, um, you have standing techniques, uh, tachi waza, waza meaning technique, and you have mat techniques, uh, ne waza, or sometimes called katami waza, katami meaning lock or hold. Um, of the throws, the standing throws, uh, they fall into five categories depending upon how they are done. Uh, the first part of any throw, and it is essential, uh, is you must break your opponent's balance. If I try and just pick Sean up and throw him like a Greco-Roman wrestler, uh, it's not going to happen, right? I have to break his balance and then it's fairly easy for me to pick him up. Once I've broken the balance, there's entry and execution in Japanese. It's sukuri and kake. The, the five categories of throws are hand throws. Uh, so throws where I'm primarily using my hands uh, and obviously the body motion but the hands are what do the actual throwing. So if I create my kazushi, I can use my hands to throw. Then hip techniques. Uh, hip techniques where I get him un on my hips. I get his center of gravity uh, above mine. I lower my center of gravity below his, get him on my hips, and use my hips to throw. And then leg techniques, where usually these are sweeping techniques of some sort or blocking techniques. So my leg becomes the fulcrum for throwing, or in the case of sweeping, again, using the legs to throw. The other two categories are sacrifice techniques. The idea being that if we're in motion, I throw myself and use that momentum to throw my opponent. Now, depending upon whether he is going forwards or sideways, 
If he is going sideways, it's one category of throws. If he is going forward, it's another category. So by forward, I can be sideways to him, but he is going in a forward direction. Sideways throws, he is falling to, to his side and my side. So those are the throwing techniques. In terms of uh, mat work, uh, there are three basic categories. Now, in judo, as opposed to sport judo, you can do submissions from standing. Uh, standing chokes used to be legal, and they're very effective. Standing arm bars as well. All used to be part of judo and sport judo, uh, but in recent years, these have been taken out of the picture. You can still do arm bars and chokes on the mat. So the three ways you submit are pinning techniques. So in a pinning technique, I am on top of my opponent, he cannot get up, and I can get up anytime I want to. So my legs are not entangled. Uh, if he has a leg trapped, the pin is now broken. There is no pin anymore. There are some strange uh, hold downs. Um, This is a hold down because I am primarily on top. Sean cannot get up, if he, right? He struggles and he is not going anywhere. And of course I can get up anytime I want to. So it doesn't have to be something standard. It just has to be demonstrating control. Uh, again, chokes. Chokes are chokes against the carotid artery. These are blood chokes and understand their carotids in the back as well as the front. I do not want to be choking against his windpipe. This can injure him and uh, it's just plain dangerous. So no chokes against the windpipe. In original judo, there were chokes against the windpipe, but they are discouraged. <laughs> All right, uh, and same thing for neck cranks. So you have rules like I cannot uh, encircle for example, um, this would be illegal in judo because uh, I have my legs encircling his body and squeezing. Um, same thing if I use the gi. This does not encircle his arm. This, however, does. So this would be illegal this is fine. In terms of joint locks, originally judo had locks against uh, hips, uh, ankles, uh, legs, elbow, shoulder. There were all sorts of different joint locks in judo. Uh, sport judo only ever allowed joint locks against the arm. And this is even before the Olympics. Uh, uh, elbow locks were permitted, wrist locks, shoulder locks were not. Uh, because some of the bent arm locks can affect the shoulder, even though they're nominally attacking the elbow, uh, they have been considered to be potential shoulder locks and therefore are no longer legal. So the only joint lock which is currently allowed in judo is a straight arm bar. Now there are many, many different straight arm locks you'll notice always his arm is straight. So straight arm bar against the elbow, chokes and pins. All right, so hopefully this gives you some kind of an overview of what judo is about. Um, I can talk about the time rules and 
point system, those have changed many times. Uh, so uh, I'm reluctant to talk about them because I don't know by the time you're watching this video if they'll still be the same. All right, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to our channel, Serioku Zenyo, meaning maximum efficiency. If you click on the bell, you can get the videos as soon as they are posted. Thank you, Sean.